News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And a splendid morning to you and a very, very happy new year to you from the chairman, the board of directors and everybody at the Capital Maharaja organization and of, from Team News First. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy new year indeed. And uh, as we look forward to a brand new year and uh, hopefully a year in which our hopes and our aspirations and our demands will be met by our legislators uh, in search of an equitable lifestyle and an economy that we can all be proud to be part of. Well, this morning we've got Newsline does things slightly differently. So this morning we've got two young people representative of the youth of our country and we've got somebody slightly older than that too. So here we go, let's introduce them. Um, Starting off with uh, young Mohammed Fahad from Zaira College. Very good morning to you. Good morning, and sir. And a very happy new year to you. Same to you, sir. Thanks. And uh, from Musius, that's cool, yes, Musius, we've got Imaya here. And uh, good morning to you and uh, happy new year to you too, Imaya. Good morning and wish you the same, sir. Thank you very much. And, and of course, we've got that most uh, critique governance and all things that matters to the people. Mr. Azad Sali, very good morning to you, Mr. Very Azad Sali. Very good morning Sali. for us. Wish you a very happy and a prosperous new year. Thank you and, and I, wish you, I wish you and your family uh, you. the same thank to you, you Azad. And uh, thank you, you've been an excellent supporter of uh, uh, Newsline. I don't know whether you've been on Patika often enough, uh, but uh, we all are grateful and uh, thankful that you Take the time and come here and share your Thank thoughts you. Thank with you. us. Um, so, shall we start off with our two young Thank guests you this morning? Um, Imaya, may I start with you? Um, you go to school in Colombo and so on. So, what is your, what is, what has impressed you or bothered you or stuck in your mind most during 2018? Well, recently, uh, the incidents that took part in 2018, yeah. that's what stuck the most and what bothered me the most in 2018. And I suppose that's one of the things that bothered most of the Sri Lankans as well as the whole world. You're talking about what happened in our parliament? Yes. I see. All right. And um, what, what about you, uh, uh, Fahad? Uh, what, what are your... What do you, when you look back and think about 2018, what hits you the most? Oh, well, sir, uh, not only 2018, every year I bothered about our kidney patients. Uh, every year, lots of kidney patients are in our Sri Lanka, sir. Uh, then I think we must pay more attention for this uh, kidney patients. Sir. That's why I bothered about and uh, I think uh, I, we, we should change this, uh, this critical uh, mess like that, sir. And, and have you done have you done some research about uh, about the kidney uh, problem? No, sir. Uh, I think uh, I my ambition is to be a doctor, sir. I think uh, I can change this thing in future like that, sir. So you you want you want to be a doctor because yeah, you yeah. you identified a problem. Yes, yeah, sir. And you want to be part of fixing that problem. Yeah, yeah sir. Uh, I should I think I should change this like that, sir. I have a uh, I have a a uh, responsibility to uh, change this like that, sir. Um, I know Mr. Azad Sali is here, but I just want to ask you something. You know, when you, when you live your life, you go to school, you come home, you, you interact with your friends, and this is a question for you too, Imaya. Are you conscious that you are a Muslim and, and you are uh, 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 Sinhalese Buddhist? Are you conscious of that, or does that not matter to you? Do you just live your life? Well, actually, there was a time when I look at the news and when there was elections and all, I got the feeling that I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Sinhalese, and they're a Muslim. But then I thought for a while and thought, wait, we all are Sri Lankans, and that doesn't matter. Right now, that doesn't conscious me, and I think I'm a Sri Lankan, and that's what all matters. Is that, is that the same with you, Fahad? Yes, sir. I'm also saying like that, sir, because I don't have any conscience like that for I am Muslim like that, sir. Do you put yeah. your friends in little boxes? Do you, think, do you think that this friend is in the Sinhalese box, this one is in the 
Table box? No, sir. Never, sir. Because friends can't put like that boxes, sir. Right. Uh, because we all are Sri Lankans, no, sir. That's why we can't put boxes for like that, sir. And how do your friends take it? Because your, 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 your religion is different. Uh, no, sir. It doesn't matter, sir. That doesn't uh, matter? That doesn't matter, sir. Like so it's a bit like cheering the same Sri Lanka cricket team, I yeah, suppose, sir. is it? Yes, sir. Do you, do, you, do you watch the cricket? Yes, sir. What do you think about performance? Uh, I think uh, it must be changed uh, like that uh, because we, m we want to pay more attention for this cricket, sir, because uh, it representing our Sri Lanka, no, sir. That's why we want to uh, change this like that, sir. So what about you, Imai? Corruption bother you? Pardon? Corruption, does it bother you? When you read in the papers, you look in the TV, you hear about all, all sorts of things happening? Yeah, that does bother me a lot. Um, sometimes I look at the newspaper and I think, why do they have to do these old corrupt, corrupted things and all? Why can't they lead the country in a righteous manner and uh, make this country a peaceful and a better place? Why all this corruption? And then, as children, we got nothing to do, but there's a thing that we can do in the future, Which and is. that is to change the world and to become a leader to the country and end the corruption that is in the country. And as well as I can see, there's a lot of child abuses happening in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think as children, we have to stand up for that too. And we are in the right place with the right person to ask him about corruption. Mr. Azad Sali, to you, what has been the most impactful thing during 2018? See, so I think for us, uh, first morning we are talking and if we see the promise that we gave to our masses in yeah. 2015, a corruption-free country yeah. with good governance. But we did not even see a little of good governance in that three and a half to four years now. I think January 8th, it will be four years since of that promise that we made. And uh, at least uh, it's going to be a corruption-free country 2019. Right. That's the president's declaration. Mm. We pray and hope that all leaders will get together and say no to corruption and let everybody set aside all their party differences. Yeah. But get together because you, what you see now is no direct investment is coming into this country. They have a fear psychosis. I think this has to go. We have to go around the world, give them the confidence Sri Lanka is very stable and that uh, economic, uh, economically we can uh, improve and we have to get these investments coming into the country. How, how, do, you, how do you address the uh, concerns of the young? Like the, both of them have told us. See, all, all what they are requiring, asking for is good governance. Nothing but that. Transparency. That's the most important thing. Now see, for us, we are thinking of selling the Hilton. Yeah. We are thinking of selling IAT Regency. We are thinking of a partner for Sri Lankan Airlines. Yeah. Right? All this can be done. All this can be done. There are people to take. But the problem is, in between, these politicians want to make a quick buck on that. If they can stop that, think for a while, the state of the country and what we can do for the country, I think we are just going to go ahead. We have a lot more to do. We have, see, if you take nationals, if you take most of the schools, you know, these children are coming. Most of their classes do not have their teachers. Most of the schools doesn't have a graded principal. Every day you see interviews having. Now, if I may say Colombo schools, most of the Colombo schools don't have a uh, qualified principal. Or I, uh, some time ago, I was, uh, some years ago actually, I went down south to uh, look at, to spend uh, some time with uh, Mr. Sajid Premadasa on the road because he, he, he leads very active uh, yeah. uh, time on the road. And um, I went to school where he was supplying the, he had arranged for the funding to give them the electricity connection. But it's the first time since independence that that school had got electricity. This is about two, three years ago. No, about four years ago. And what bothered me the most was that when we went in there, the school already had a full-blown computer room with everything <laughs> there, but there was no electricity. Most of the uh, and the, the, the principal told me that they got that, and that was given to organized by Nama Rajpaksa. Yeah. So 
I, I said, well, you know, you live in a great, great place because you've got Namal on the one yeah, side, you've got yeah, Sajid on the other. Yeah. But are there still schools with such a big problem? No infrastructure. See, most of the schools don't have the infrastructure. Because they want to give the school something, they give a, a science lab. They give a computer room. But just giving these things won't help. You have to provide them with the infrastructure. If you don't have the infrastructure, there's no use of uh, all these uh, equipment you give. Because some schools, as you say, have got computers for the last three years, it is lying there. So by now, when you try, start, try, try to use it in 2019, then that computer is too old. And uh, what about you, Maya and, and Fahad, do you, when you go to school and so on and you look at your facilities, I'm imagining that Mews just gives you some good facilities. Um, and we know lots of other people who've gone to your school and, and to yours. Um, do you think about the plight of other students around the country? Yeah, when uh, looking at the other students around the country, I think uh, they, are a lot of, they are having a lot of burdens in their life. I mean, from the education, right from the school, um, some they don't have enough teachers. Mm -hmm. um, some teachers who are qualified for Singhala, they come and teach you maths. In uh, we can see in rural schools, so there are a lot of problems in those country, uh, in those schools and all. So I think to give them a good education, I think that's a uh, that's the main priority of the governors, to give them a good education, a good facilities and all. And what, your, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a president. Of the country? Yeah. I see. So from St. Bridget's to Musius. I see. So well, we, we had a prime minister from St. Bridget's mm -hmm. to uh, Temple Trees. We and, uh, also. And, and we had a president <laughs> as well, a lady president. Um, how inspirational is that to you? Uh, do you look at uh, Mrs. Sirimavu Badranaka, who was the first woman leader of the democratic world, uh, the first female prime minister ever anywhere in the world? Um, and um, how inspiration, uh, inspirational is that to you? And, and what about President Kumar Rutunga? Well, I think I just want to be a president in my way. Uh, they uh, Sirima Bandar Naik and all, they were real inspirational. I think uh, sh um, one of them took, a, took away a project of um, growing own food in our country. Yes. Um, and that was a good thing. Uh, I like to admire. But I want to become a president in my own way. I want to be me. And uh, in that way, I want to end corruption. I want to make Sri Lanka a place where anyone can say, I'm a Sri Lankan and I'm proud to be that. I want to make Sri Lanka a, that type of a country, and for that, I want to take on, uh, I want to be a president, and I think, um, I want to make a... Do you, do you feel that becoming the president will help you solve all these problems? Well, I think that's the head of the country, and um, president, and it has got all the powers and all, but I think I want to use those powers in a correctful manner, and not to misuse them. And that's the way to start all of them. I'm hoping that uh, former President uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa and current President Maitri Palasi Risena are both listening to you. <laughs> yeah, I hope they're doing <laughs> Yes, I, I hope so. I, I hope they're listening to you. Uh, because you, you're giving them some good, good advice. They've got the power, they must use it, and they must not misuse it. Abuse it. Yeah, I think... Um, you don't have to be the president to do everything. Like uh, from now on, I'm, I'm doing a child abuse project, project which, was, um, um, which was started by me right. in rural villages and all. I think if you want to do a change, you don't have to be a president. But when you've got that president position, it's all you can have. And you have the power. You can do anything. You can change it. the world. So um, Fahad, do you agree that if you have the power, you mustn't be frightened to use it? No, sir. I never, sir. I will never find frightened to use that power, sir, because... Uh, you mean you don't want to abuse it? No, yes, yeah, sir. Misuse it? Mi no, sir. I don't want to misuse like that because, mm -hmm. sir, uh, our... Uh, all Sri Lankan uh, population, uh, they are given that... Uh, that... that uh, that leadership for us to do something well as well as uh, something like that, sir. Uh, they, when uh, then they trust us, sir. That then we should 
uh, we should uh, do something more like that sir because they are hoping us they are trusting us then i think we should do something better than that uh, when they giving to the our, our that leadership sir, like that sir mm -hmm. and um, uh, mr azad sali what 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 do you say to our current uh, government with its 30 cabinet ministers See, for what do us, you say uh, to them there is a lot of confusion in that yeah. They are trying to get into a big controversy on the appointment of cabinet ministers, which already started yeah. by sending 36 names. Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, the Prime Minister realized that in between the facts of the President's office and the Prime Minister's office, yeah. some black sheep had been there yeah. by sending other names also. Right. So that is something for the government to investigate as to who is you mean, black You sheep. mean the, pre the Prime Minister didn't send those? He said that in Parliament. So that I do not so have somebody, somebody, wrong somebody, my knowledge. So somebody has added names. So that, there is names. a black sheep inside so temple. That, that's a, that's a serious very serious, very, very serious. Departure from security. Very process. serious, and they are just trying to harp on a one member who is from the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, who is also state minister now. Yeah. That due because of him, that they can have a, a national government. There is no question of national government, but that political party is already in alliance with the UNP, yeah. and they contested under the UNF. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So just because one person can it on SLMC, that does not make it a national government. Yes. So well, the, the intent has been, was something else. Yes, exactly. So what do you, what do you <coughs> advise to them now? See, now at this moment, the country is in a very, very bad situation. With the formation of another government earlier, again back, we have come back to square one. Mm. Then now at this moment, what we require is that everybody should get together for the sake of the country, just to have a st st stability so that country can go on because people have no confidence. Mm. The world uh, investors have no confidence in Sri Lanka. Yeah. That has to be um, uh, um, taken up very, very seriously. Yeah. And also the leadership, whoever who is the leader has to, as you have been right, uh, rightly saying for us, yeah. is think that we are Sri Lankans and not to see that you are a Muslim, you are a Sinhalese, you are a Christian, you are a Hindu. If you go like that itself, that division uh, brings us back. That is one thing. Now, if you see the Prime Minister going meeting the Mahanayakas. Yeah. When he met the Mahanayakas as he came out, yeah. what was his statement for us? He said that... He uh, said... Yeah. What did he say? About uh, making sure that they're not messing around with the, the constitution. The constitution. On the, on, that is that is every time they say that, yeah. but they mess up. That's a different story. Mm. But you know, he made another statement to see that everybody who is involved in the demolition of statues yeah. will be arrested. Yeah. Now, this prime minister was the minister in charge of police mm. when the candy incident took place. He never made a statement like that for us. Never made a statement that everybody who attacked the mosque and uh, churches will be arrested. Why didn't he make this statement? As, as a prime minister or a president, yeah. you, are, you are just out of all those things. You are the leader for all communities. Hmm. You have to say what you say and you have to do what you say. This is the most important thing. Here, you uh, differentiate communities and then when you try to act, then you are wrong because you must understand the minority communities have 85 90 percent voted with you mm -hmm. and you are the savior you have to save everybody you must not uh, take uh, into um, uh, consideration that they are muslim they are hindu they are christian no we mm -hmm. are a country that all communities work together you are cabinet is having um, uh, your uh, parliamentary group is having almost 20 odd uh, mps from the minority community that today tna is supporting you in every way they have uh, 16 or 15 parliamentarians, one has gone, 15 parliamentarians who are supporting you, voting with you for mm -hmm. uh, various uh, requirements. So then you have to see all of them together. Mm -hmm. Why are you differentiating? So this is why we say that things are not happening the right way. And what about uh, you, Maya? Uh, you, you go to school that's located um, a stone's throw from the uh, town hall, um, and you have a, a, a beautiful um, head of the municipal council in Rosie Senanaika. Um, what do you expect of uh, your your councillors at, at municipal level, not at the national level, at the local level? What do you expect? 
Well, I think um, the Colombo Municipal Council, it's, um, it's really nice. They maintain it well, mm -hmm. as I can see around the town hall and all. Yeah. And as well as in Bihar Devi, they maintain it well. Uh, well, I think... What about the garbage in, in your street? Has that been collected? Um, yeah, it's been collected. Um, it's been collected well, yeah. Right, so, so it's going on. Yeah. What about these dengue uh, prevention programs? Well, um, in school we have a Shramadana campaigns mm -hmm. and in that we have to clear all those dengue, uh, pro, um, dengue uh, breeding places and all. Mm -hmm. And we have this um, dengue prevention controlling and all com uh, committees and all. Mm -hmm. They take um, actions to do all this thing mm -hmm. and our school is named as a dengue free zone. And what about yours, um, Fahad? Do you, uh, what is Zaira doing in uh, terms of... Zaira College is uh, pay more attention for this dengue, dengue mess like that, sir, because uh, our principal is uh, giving more attention for this uh, this program, uh, this dengue attack, sir, mm -hmm. because uh, our school has lots of uh, dengue like that, sir, because uh, our principal is always pay more attention for this uh, student's health like that, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. He organized more, uh, lots of dengue prevention program, and our agriculture society is doing like that, sir, uh, mm -hmm. more like that, sir. And as your school, have you been to uh, Polonaro and so on, where, where this problem with the uh, war, uh, the the kidney problem is like a big problem in those areas? Uh, no, sir. I did. Uh, I didn't went to anywhere, sir. But I lots of seen TV like that, sir. In in news and most program, I I saw lots of thing, lots of problems with that like that. Sir. And and uh, and how important is it, Amaya, uh, Imaya, to you? Um, the the media. Well, media is the mirror of the society, and I think uh, right now people believe the media. Hmm. Like people believe in media, and they accept what the media presents them. So I think it's the duty of the media to report people the right thing and let people decide uh, what their choice and all. And the duty of the media is to report people the good things and criticize the society mm -hmm. and um, to present the problems and the crisis of the um, country to the leaders. Right. How are you, how are you, how are you in your maths? In maths? Yeah. Uh, well, I got 95 in third term. Why don't you come to the council at least one hour weekly and teach our mayor some maths? <laughs> Um, the, the, I think she got a little bit colorfulified there, yeah. to be fair. Uh, you know, it's not always you get billions and millions and hundreds of thousands. Don't, don't be mischievous now. Um, but Rosie Stenak is a beautiful woman, um, and she's hopefully delivering beautiful things for the city of Colombo. Yes. Um, what, what about you? Your school is also right bang in the middle of, uh, of Colombo. Yeah. How, how's the problems there? Are there any problems? Are they cleaning the street there? Um. No, sir. There is no problem like that, sir. Colombo Municipal Power Council is uh, maintaining all those things what uh, they want to do. And I think uh, they are doing their duty. Uh, the garbage are so always is uh, taking my uh, and it's been collected. collected, sir. And mm. streets are very clean like that, sir. Uh, I think Colombo Municipal Council is doing their work like uh, very. Uh, clearly like that. I see. Well, we've got, we've got five more minutes left here. Um, and um, Imaya and Fahad, what, what would you say to our politicians? You, you've seen what happened in, from October this way. You've seen chili powder being, I mean, I'm sure you thought that chili powder was only used in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, but it also has some uses in Parliament. So what is your advice to our uh, parliamentarians? Well, make Sri Lanka a better place and make all the citizens of the Sri Lanka to feel that we are Sri Lankans and we are proud of what we are. And please have uh, self-discipline in yourselves and please end corruption and make Sri Lanka a better place after all. I see. And, and uh, Fahad, what do you have to say? Oh, I also uh, say like that, sir. Uh, I think you are the leaders of our society. Uh, then you want to change us like that. Then you must change. Firstly, you won't uh, you won't have self-respect to you, and you must change. And 
be a good politician and protect us from the, all those myths like that, sir. Right. And um, <coughs> um, Azad Sali, you, you've got, uh, we've got a few more minutes left. What do you want them to do? I mean, they, they're not going to reinvent the wheel in 13 months, are they? See, I mean, uh, it's not a question of uh, reinventing the wheel, mm. but uh, there are a lot of things that the government can do. At least, at least stop corruption for the, for the moment. You have robbed enough. Keep it now. The central bank amount is more than enough for all, all those activities. Mm. At least now think of the future generation, what they really want. As they were saying, you don't have the correct teachers to teach you, you don't have the principals in schools, there are infrastructures are not there in schools. That is the place that you have to start with. If you now like in Singapore, you start from Montessori. That is you start. Where are we throwing our garbage? So Where you, are we you, throwing off? Uh, what you're saying is to invest in education. Of not only education. That that is the beginning. No, yeah. education is the beginning of everything. So if you give them quality education, I think um, um, uh, we, we can see. No. How about, how about quality opportunity? No, opportunities are there for Sri Lanka. Wherever you go, but when this crisis came, mm. Sri Lanka was known as one of the best countries for investment. That is the level that we were up to. But see what happened in the 56 days. You're completely, it was a turnaround. All the people are responsible for this. One thing is a government that wanted to come in for good governance did not deliver what they have to deliver. That is why it happened. They were taught a lesson. Now that you have learned your lesson, at least this 10 months, I don't think this can go beyond April. My, my, my assumption is that, that this government cannot go beyond April. They have to go in for election. But nevertheless, that little time, the four months or five months, mm. get cracking on your work that you have promised. Deliver them. People must have confidence in you all. The investors must be uh, fully ready to come and invest in Sri Lanka. They must have the confidence that Sri Lanka is a place that we can invest. So that has to be given. And all these things. And just transparency is the most important thing. Why don't you go internationally and advertise on Hyatt Regency for sale, Hilton for sale, Sri Lanka, we need a partnership. Just allow somebody else other than the politician to be in these panels to judge what we can do. I think we remember the Qatari government was ready for all these three. Mm. When we visited with the president, they were ready and they came into Sri Lanka long before we came into Sri Lanka. They came by a special plane. When they came, they were given a total different uh, perception on Sri Lanka. I say, you, why are you going for a dead uh, loss company? Why are you going to take Sri Lanka? That massive loans you can't settle. That was the uh, uh, feeling that was given to the peer person who came to buy. So, what, so this what, has been right throughout everything in Sri Lanka. Let, let's f finish the program by asking um, both Timaya and Fahad, um, what's your quick message to the Prime Minister and to his uh, ministers? Well, I think um, it's your time to change now. It's 2019 and maybe you've done bad in 2018, but at least make this opportunity to change and end corruption and be a better leader to Sri Lanka. And what about you, Fahad? Uh, I also say like that, sir. Uh, this is a new year. Uh, you, ch you change and may try to make our, uh, our country as a good area. Wonderful. Azad Sali, as usual, thank you ever so much for coming on Newsline. And that's the way uh, we start the year off, and we do hope that uh, your hopes and your aspirations, your demands, will be met by our legislators, and that uh, everybody in Sri Lanka will be able to enjoy an equitable lifestyle and partake in an, econo in an economy that is booming right from day 